and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing Project's brand new Essential 3 turntable. Now this turntable obviously has replaced the Essential 2, but it's an excellent additional implementation of some of the core features of the Essential turntable and some excellent improvements in overall build quality, look and feel, and sound quality of course, which is the most important. So, let's have a look. What we've got is Project's quintessential packaging. White box, uh, labels stuck on the side uh, to, to show essentially the model number, serial numbers, colour and what cartridge is fitted. Some of their turntables come without cartridges and so there's a little blank here and sometimes you can put a sticker on them to show what might have been fitted. Um, the boxes other than that, a repeat of everything on one side, are pretty well muted. Um, now, the opening these, these are, these are um, sealed closed with a sort of a factory tape, that sort of sticky paper tape. Um, so opening it isn't like traditional uh, sellotape, you have to run a craft knife across the top. And, pretty straightforward once you're in. So, let's have a look. So the first thing is Project has, certainly for the money involved in this thing, a great array of uh, accessories. In this bag is the anti-skate weight, the turntable's belt. It's got an extra little weight that you can add to the head um, in case you're using a very light cartridge. And there is a, an adapter for the use of 45s. You'll also see in there a little Allen key. Now that Allen key is quite specific to tightening the uh, uh, counterweight and locking it into a particular position. Drilling down a little bit further, we've got the uh, felt mat. Now please, hang around for some photographs towards the end. I'm going to start assembling this so that you can see where it all sort of goes. Uh, and please hang around, you'll see where all this ends up. The next is the interconnects. Now with this base model, uh, the interconnects are fixed to the unit. So you'll see that it sort of disappears. I'll just put that over there and start drilling in. There's a little bit of cardboard to protect the, the lid. And um, pulling this out is a very, very straightforward process. A little bit of a technique though. Um, the lid has little brackets uh, to allow it to go onto the hinges. And taking the cardboard off, if you feel it sort of snag, start the other end and uh, avoids ripping and tearing the packaging. So, off goes the ends. Now the lid is protected with one of these uh, man-made sort of um, polish cloths. It's soft on the inside to ensure that the, the lid itself comes out absolutely scratch-free, like literally perfect. Getting rid of that, you start to see an additional piece of cardboard that's actually uh, sellotaped in place. This cardboard is to hold the platter of the turntable in place in transit. Removing that is very straightforward. And we get the opportunity to lift out the turntable. This is a gloss finish, and so they have added a couple of pieces of additional foam to ensure that any rub points uh, are virtually eliminated and the finish will be ideal or perfect um, by, by the time it sort of is finally unboxed. Now putting that off to one side for a moment, I want you to have a look in here. Here is one of the most um, uh, discarded inadvertently pieces. The, the heavy parts of the turntable are separate so that they don't damage anything in transit. And this is the counterweight. And this is a critical part of the, the setup of the turntable. And again, hang around for some photographs where you'll see these assembled. Um, not, uh, I don't know, a month at least, uh, we get a phone call from a customer who is looking at why their turntable is not operating correctly and ends up having to scurry through their rubbish bins looking for the, uh, the counterweight because they forgot to take it out of the packaging. Taped also in place to one of these uh, pieces of foam is the unit's power supply. Now this is one of these universal power supplies nowadays. Uh, so it's a multi-voltage uh, with an output on DC. So we wouldn't be surprised if it's got a few adapters in here as it does. So it's got a UK, New Zealand and um, US power adapter. And again, little 15 volt um, switch mode power supply. those. Now, the turntable itself. Again, it's protected with one of those uh, anti-scratch bags, just like the lid. Taking it out at this point is a little bit awkward because of where the interconnect is, and so I recommend that it's just done with a little bit of uh, patience. Lifting the bag off 
uh, so all, all the catching points, and then carefully feeding the interconnect through will ensure that this unit is uh, you know, perfect by the time it's unboxed by you. Okay? Now holding that in one hand, you can then lift the turntable out with the other and have a look at this for the first time. So there's a couple of things. Firstly, uh, a big improvement in the look of the turntable over the Junior Essential 2. This is now in a gloss finish, both with the plinth and the platter. You'll see first of all this is hanging around. Now that is a piece of cardboard specifically designed to separate the, the platter and ensure that it's locked and does not spin in transit. And as soon as I pull that out, this is now free to move. There is uh, a steel tone arm and an OM10 cartridge. Uh, there's the lifter and riser, the brackets of course for the, uh, the lid, and then the external motor allowing a belt to go right around. Again, hang around. Looking at the side for a moment, we've got it on an off switch. It's actually because the plinth in this model isn't very thick, and it means that the switch uh, is, rather than being discrete underneath in the debut range, it's actually just off to one side. The feet underneath are now out of the debut range, so a good improvement there, and they uh, feature a good um, uh, pivot, so there's a lot of um, vib vibration dampening in it, and it's excellent to see that they've had that trickle down from the uh, more expensive models. You see the routing out for all of the cables associated with the tone arm and the switch and the motor are all sort of off to one side and they're well protected behind a few covers. Um, looking at it from the rear you'll see again the fixed cables. These are Project's new woven ones. There's an excellent ground lead and a good set of plugs. Both are actually sort of labelled in some way. It's pretty clear to also see left and right. Uh, you've got the brackets for the lid, and if I just pause for a moment, I'm going to put that lid on. Now when it's time to put the lid on, um, I do recommend that you, again, are just patient. And if it doesn't slide on easily, just pause, lift it off, make sure it doesn't end up locking, because otherwise you'll have a few problems. So, there we have it. Project's new Essential 3 turntable. It's a beautiful budget uh, turntable. Excellent improvements throughout its uh, over its predecessor, the Essential 2, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.